What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video because I have a ton of new e.l.f. makeup to try out. This product has been all over the internet for the past couple of days to be honest and I feel like I'm like the last person on earth to get my package but I got it today so I'm ready to review this with you guys. Before we dive into this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. I am posting a video every day up until Christmas. And uh, it's going pretty well, so definitely hit that subscribe button for very consistent content. So the products that I picked up to try out today is the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, you guys. Oh my god, I really hope this is my shade because looking at it through this little container, I don't know, sis. I don't know. I mean, ugh, that shade match was so hard. <sighs> We're gonna see. We're gonna see. I also picked up the Enhancing Lash and Brow Serum. I'm always looking for something that's affordable to try out, and I've never used a lash and brow serum. I have really thin brow hairs, and I mean, my lashes are growing out pretty nicely, but something to enhance it, sign me up. I picked up a ton of the eyeshadow sticks. I remember when I was picking up things from the Kylie X Grinch collection, the shadow sticks was something I really wanted to try out, but it, it unfortunately sold out. And I really wanted to try shadow sticks. I don't know why. But the fact that e.l.f. has affordable ones for $5, I was like, give me all of them. <laughs> so, oh, I also have the putty blush brush that just came out. This would have been really nice to have when I was doing my putty blush review. But we're going to try this today with the putty blush to see how this works. e.l.f. also came out with a new mascara. I did not pick that up. I don't know why I should have, but I didn't. But yeah, so that's the only new product from e.l.f. I don't have. But I'm excited to get into this. So if you want to see me review these products and do my first impressions, then keep on watching. All right, so I zoomed you guys in. My face is already primed. I completely forgot to use an e.l.f. primer, believe it or not. I have so many e.l.f. primers, but I went in with my Porefessional and my Maybelline primer today because... I don't know, I just did. And then my lids are already primed, my brows are done. Let's get into this CC cream, okay? So this is a color correcting, full coverage, natural finish camo CC cream. This has skin loving ingredients, collagen, peptides, and isomide. Girl, I can't read today, okay? And there's SPF 30 in here, oh my God. Any makeup product that has SPF in it, I'm it's a win in my book. I love having SPF in my makeup. Okay, so this does retail for $14, which is pretty pricey for e.l.f. I mean, I don't know. It's pretty pricey, and there are not as many shades as you would expect this to have. When I purchased this online, I had so much trouble picking out a shade. I always tend to stay away from e.l.f.'s um, foundations. I never tried e.l.f. foundations because it's just like the way the color looks seems so hard to find a match for me. So I just took my best guess with this. But to be honest, you guys, just from the looks of it, it looks so light. This is in the shade Deep 540N. So I got neutral with warm undertones. I have a pretty warm undertone. So... All right, and I believe this will be available in stores starting next year. So right now, online is the only place that you can pick this up. And I have seen a lot of people say this looks exactly like the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. The tea, the tea. But I don't know. I've never tried that, so I can't attest to that. I don't, I mean, I can, I, it kind of does look the same. But as far as performance and how that works, I truly don't know. Oh, God. That looks so light. Oh my god. Oh, this looks so light. Oh, I might have to go darker. So I am going to go in with the angled buffing brush on this side. And then the opposite side, I'm going to use a sponge. I'm so scared. <laughs> Let me just put this on my face and stop tripping. Oh my god. This is so light, maybe. I think this might be way too light for me. Oh my gosh. This is so light. Oh my goodness. Oh, I really, really wanted this to work for me. Let me just say that the, aside from the color being a little bit like really light, um, the coverage is so good. I really like the coverage on this. It's just really, really light, you guys. I'm like really shocked. All right, let's do the other side with a sponge and see how it goes. This, I, I look so freaking weird. I really do like the coverage so far. It looks really, really good. So let's try it with a sponge now. And see how the coverage looks with this. I don't 
don't really use CC creams, so I'm not too sure how the coverage is supposed to look. Like, is it kind of like a tinted moisturizer where one shade would fit a good bit of skin tones? I don't know. Now that I'm like really looking at it, it seems like I kind of like the sponge side better because this side just looks really like really light and then this side just looks pretty melted into my skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over this side with the sponge to try to like, I don't know, even it out because I don't know why my face looks like two different colors on one side. Really love the coverage of this product. I think it is a really, really beautiful coverage. And my skin literally looks flawless. Like, it actually has so much coverage. Like, under my eyes, looks really, really nicely. I have no idea why I'm feeling like I prefer the sponge side better than the brush side. I think going in with the sponge, it kind of, like, helped the product to soak into my skin. Whereas the brush side gave too much coverage, where it seems like I have way too much on, maybe. I have truly been loving these new, like, flawless brightening concealers from e.l.f. I love this to add a nice little extra brightness. And I feel like since this is already kind of a little light, I am going to go in with my Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Deep Cinnamon. I have this concealer in the Hydrating as well as the regular one. And to be honest, the color is so different between the two. Like, they're the same shade. They're both Deep Cinnamon, but they just are slightly different in color, it feels like. I don't know. But I'm going to go in with the Hydrating one today. Just because I feel like this one's a little bit darker of a color and I just want to add like some color to my face. And then what I'm going to do is go in with the brightening one. I think today I'm going to use the shade 50W Deep. And basically all you do is like click it. It's like a little pen and the product comes out just like that. Oh, I think this looks way better now. Before I like get to setting this, I am going to go in with the putty brush. So basically this looks like a tiny stippling brush. Like it looks, it's like a flat stippling brush to be honest. So here's the front of it and then turn it. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna go in with the shade Fiji cause I want something bright. I need to like add some brightness in here. I don't know, that concealer kind of looks a little yellow. So I'm just going to take some on this brush. It's like literally the perfect size brush for this product. And we're just going to stipple this in. Just add some color into the face. Love this shade. This is my favorite shade in the putty blushes. It's literally like a like mousse to matte kind of formula and it's really good and I highly highly recommend it now I need to set so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in with the Midas Cosmetics setting powder in the shade medium you guys can use code Tatiana Anissa for 20% off your purchase this was gifted to me in PR I'm also gonna use this brush from Midas Cosmetics this is the set brush I just bought their brushes were 50% off today and I just bought a backup set of all the brushes they sent me because I love it and this is my favorite brush to set under the eyes I love this brush because it covers a big surface area. I am going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder and just set my entire face. My face is not tacky. It already low-key kind of feels set, but I am just gonna set over it anyways. Like, I don't feel like I need to go in to set because I have oily skin. I just like to take the extra step. I am gonna go and add some blush and bronzer. So, I do want to go into this lash serum. This retails for $8. And this is basically packed with powerful ingredients such as antioxidants, amino acids, and vitamins. It's a nourishing formula that assists in conditioning the lashes and brows to help with thin, brittle, and short hairs. This serum will give you healthier looking lashes and brows in weeks. So I'm just going to take some of this serum and apply it to my lashes. This is something I am going to continue to use and if it works, best believe I'm going to be purchasing a ton more because your girl needs some 
a serum to help her brows and her lashes grow. Next, all I have left to try is these shadow sticks. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick eye look and then we're going to try to add this into that look because I am filming a ColourPop video as well. So I am gonna do a quick look with that and then we're gonna come back and try out the shadow sticks. So I just did a quick eye look and just literally did something really, really quick. So I got a ton of shades. I think the shade that I do wanna use today, maybe the shade Magnetic Pull, which is like this purpley shade as well as this rich amnius shade but there are a t ooh, this one's also really pretty but there are a ton of different shades you can choose from all of them retail for five dollars which is really really nice i need something for an inner corner highlight so i'm gonna go in with the shade magnetic pull just to see i don't know if i want to go in with this that one because it's i'm not really feeling that shade this is what it looks like i really want something to pop in the inner corner so I'm going to try the shade Rich Amnius. Let's see. I don't really know. It's too dark. Maybe let's try the shade Rose Quartz. And I think it might work for what I'm looking for. Because I just want the inner corner to like pop. And I mean, it does open it up a bit. But I like something a little bit more sparkly. I feel like I would get a lot of use out of these in the summer because this is literally like put the shadow all over the lid and like you're done. And that's how I feel about these. I don't think any of these have glitter in them, which I was kind of I was kind of hoping for. They're literally just like a little bit like metallic and I don't know. I mean, I will definitely use them for right now and like what it does. I'd only use it as an inner corner highlight, but they are only $5 if you want to check them out. So my final thoughts on the new products I tried today. It has a really nice coverage. I am going to get a darker shade in this because this just, I mean, right now it looks fine. But for me personally, I think it's a little bit too light. But definitely let me know your thoughts and what you think about it. And the lash serum, can't really comment on that exactly because I need to like try it out, you know, figure it out, see how I like it. But I mean, if it works, I will definitely let you know. And it's something I'm going to continue to use because for $8, I mean, come on, like seriously. And then the shadow sticks, I'm slightly disappointed in them. Um... They, they are only $5, but I just thought there was going to be like a little bit of like glitter. It's going to be really, really shimmery. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't just like this. I think these are for those people that just like a wash of color for those days where you don't really wear any makeup. I think that the timing of all of these products that e.l.f. has released is perfect because they all go together. Like they truly do. Like shadow sticks for a lighter coverage type of thing. And I mean, this coverage isn't even that light. Like... Oh my god, it says full coverage. Wow, okay. Didn't really read. This is full coverage. It says full coverage right on the smack front. So yeah, it's definitely full coverage. I am going to get another shade. I might go up a shade or two because I do like this. I really do like this a lot. This was my favorite product I tried today. The Putty Blush Brush. Really do wish that that came out with the blushes, but I'm happy it came out better late than never. Um, it definitely worked. I do prefer a sponge though, but it does work. I feel like you can use this. Where is it? I lost it. Okay, I feel like you can use this for a ton of different things, not just this blush. I think that was everything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.